away in a manger. One, two, three. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed, the little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the heaven look down where he lay, the little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing, the poor baby wakes, but little Lord Jesus no crying he makes. I love the Lord Jesus, look down from the sky. And stay by my side until morning is nigh. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in thy tender care, and fit us for heaven to live with thee there. All right, so that is the first uh, song in this course of carols. Um, Away in a Manger, uh, you'll notice that I incorporated two of the famous tunes and not just one. I think it makes it a little bit more interesting if we have um, one of the tunes, we go into another one of the tunes, and then we go back uh, to the first tune. Uh, just a little bit of funness in there, and they all both fit into the same key very well together. We have three chords in this. Um, let me flip back to the first page here. And uh, we've got an F chord. So F is uh, first finger, first fret on the second string, second finger, second fret on the fourth string. And then we have our C7 chord, which is first finger, first fret on the first string. And then we have our B flat chord. Now B flat can always be done two ways, okay? Maybe there are more ways, I don't know. Um, but one is to do a partial bar. And we have uh, the first finger covering uh, strings one and two on the first fret. And then we put our second finger on the second fret of the third and our third finger on the third fret of the fourth. Now that's one way to do it. I never do it that way. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I do the full bar thing. So I just put my first finger across the, uh, the first fret all the way across all four strings. And then I put second finger, second fret, and third finger, third fret on the third and fourth strings. And we get that, right? Okay. I actually prefer uh, most of the time uh, when it will work out to do a B flat at nine in place of a um, uh, a B flat chord, in which case uh, you can uh, uh, use a, a, an alternate version of C7 and an alternate version of F. But for this per for the purposes of this, um, this works rather well, especially in the first and last sections, which are the one melody, because on the F chord, um, I'm, only, I'm doing this 12-3-12-3. Now, what does 12-3-12-3 mean? If you look down at my uh, right hand in the lower uh, right-hand corner, uh, you'll notice that I am plucking strings one and two at the same time. That's 12. So I'm using my first and my second finger to pluck strings one and two, and then I'm going and plucking the third string with my uh, thumb in the opposite direction. So I'm going 12, 3, 12, 3, 12, 3, 12, 3, 12, 3, 12, 3. And I use this throughout uh, this whole you know, first melody. Um, and um, 
it works really nice. Um, and on this one, when you're doing the B flats on it, you only have to finger uh, what would be a G minor seven because the, uh, the fourth string isn't being used at all, right? And so you can ignore that uh, third finger in the chord position. Uh, for that whole first song, right? So, away, away in a manger, no crib for a bed. See, I didn't, I didn't fully finger the B flat chord, and that just makes things a little bit easier because that B flat chord is is kind of a pain in the neck, uh, even for me, and I've been playing for over a decade, and. Um, I just don't like doing a bar right next to the nut. It makes things a little bit difficult. I actually find a B chord uh, to be a lot easier just because I don't have that nut fighting me uh, uh, like I do on the B flat chord. Of course, it does help if your action is really good on your ukulele. So uh, if you have really, really good action and your strings are really close um, to uh, the fretboard because your nut has been filed down to a good length, um, then B flat doesn't have to be so hard, right? On a well set up ukulele. But if you don't have a well set up ukulele, um, it's uh, uh, it's much more difficult because you have that fighting fighting you. That your nut is fighting you. It's trying to keep your strings up, and you're trying to put your strings down. So um, so that's pretty much it as far as uh, the chords go. Um, now, when we get to the second section here, the cattle are lowing, and I switch uh, finger picking patterns, right, uh, and strumming, um, we have a different situation. We have to do that full B flat chord. Because if we didn't, we'd get this, which isn't bad. I mean, we can do it, but this is the G minor seven substitute without the third finger, right? So. The cattle are lowing, the poor baby wakes. Actually, it sounds kind of nice. So you could just continue to do G minor 7 through the whole thing and forget all the D flats if you wanted to. Um, so that's just a tip. Um, now let's talk about that 3PP. What on earth does that mean there, notated in the music, right? And these are just notes that I've, that I've put in in my software here. And uh, just especially for this. And uh, we have three, which stands for our third string, which we're just gonna pluck with our third, uh, with our thumb. So we're just gonna pluck that. And then P actually is the traditional notation for the thumb, right? Okay, because um, uh, all of our traditional notation uh, stems from uh, uh, Spanish guitar music, right? And so P stands for thumb, right? If you wanted to, you could put T there uh, instead of P, but I, I use P just because it's traditional. So we have three thumb thumb. So I'm using that as a thumb strum, right? And so uh, you'll also notice that I'm doing the first one of those a little bit more uh, more emphasized and then de-emphasizing the second of those strums. So it's three strong weak, three strong weak, three strong weak, right? So it becomes the cattle are lowing, the poor baby weeks, right? And so that's all there is to that one. And it's actually very, very easy. You can get it down really quick. Also, the 12-3, 12-3 finger picking is super easy. Um, and so, uh, other than, I think the hardest thing in this carol is that B flat chord. And like I said, you can substitute a G minor seven, uh, which just leaves out the third finger, um, and it will sound just fine, right? Okay, uh, another substitute that you could do, and I'm gonna actually use this in some of the later songs, is to do those alternate uh, uh, F chord, where we add our pinky, to the third fret of the third of the first string. And then that means for the C7 that we just lift our first finger off and then we move our second finger up to the third fret of the fourth string. There's our C7. And then when we go to the B flat add nine, which is our substitute for the B flat chord, we, we do uh, first finger, first fret on the second, second finger, second fret on the third, and third finger, third fret on the fourth, just like you would uh, on a regular B flat chord, except you've got the pinky over here 
uh, adding that C, which gives it a bit of sparkle. Let me just show you what this is gonna sound like if I do it this way uh, on the cattle are lowing section, right? Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the F substitute chord. The cattle are lowing, the poor baby wakes, but little Lord Jesus, no crying, he makes. I love that. It's actually a fantastic substitution. So um, I actually learned those three chords uh, substitutions from uh, watching, uh, especially the B flat add nine one, uh, from watching, actually reading an article that James Hill wrote for Ukulele Magazine. And um, uh, he called them the don't lift a finger chords. And those are gonna come back in this, uh, in this series. Um, but that is a way in a manger. I hope you enjoyed that um, sing through. If you wanna sing through it, I put the sing through at the beginning so that you can always start at the beginning and just sing through it if you want. And then if you wanna hang around for the tutorials after, that's uh, where you'll find those, okay? And uh, that's pretty much it for a way in a manger. Uh, Merry Christmas to you and uh, have a happy new year.